Welcome to Reddit Reader. What are some little known relationship green flags? You don't feel like you're competing for their time. You're just loved. Even when they are busy, you don't have to worry. People think you need to spend all your time with someone. You don't. But the feeling of being loved removes any jealousy or insecurities. You just know it's good. The ability to coexist in very companionable silence. If it's a chore you both hate, you do it together. My late husband and I both hated folding laundry, but it had to be done, so we always did it together. It made the chore less of a pain. My dad did that with us growing up. Anytime he needed to run errands or do housework, he would ask me or my brother to keep him company and talk to him. He said that made it less about being bored and annoyed by doing chores and more happy hanging out and bonding time with his kids. It was always fun, too. He genuinely did like spending time with us and joking around. We were never super close because he was pretty strict, but I always liked that quality time with him. It's a pretty convoluted story, but I was dating a guy, had to drive his car to get him from a situation, and wrecked his car due to mechanical failure, and called my mama to come and get me so we could go get him. Rescued him, then had to tell him I'd wrecked his car. His first question, are you okay? My mom overheard. That one's a keeper. I've told this story before, but a week or two into dating my boyfriend, I was driving to work, and one of the wheels fell off my car on the highway. I pulled over to the side of the road and called my boss in a tow truck, and then texted my new beau just for comfort. He asked where on the highway I was, and said he'd be right there without hesitating. When he showed up and ran across the busy highway and scooped me up into a hug, I felt so loved and safe and thought, oh sh**. This could be the one. No matter how angry you are at one another, you will still go out of your way or they go out of their way to help. I'll be wicked pissed, but I'll angrily make my wife her favorite dinner even though I don't want to eat. No matter how angry we are at one another, usually only lasts a short period of time, we will never sabotage or try to teach them a lesson. Many times it ends up being both apologizing to one another. Arguing and getting angry is just part of a relationship and unavoidable. It is how you deal with it that sets it apart from a healthy relationship versus a bad one. Came home from working a 12-hour shift one night to a full dinner with my favorite dessert. Never had a girlfriend just decide to cook me a full meal for me to come home to like that. Able to forgive mistakes. Early in our relationship, I accidentally backed my car into my fiancé's car while coming out of the driveway. I definitely did damage. I immediately started freaking out and crying, and he just calmly got out of his car, came up to mine, and asked if I was okay. He got me to calm down and said it was fine, it was just an accident. He never made me feel bad about it. He called it our little bump to my friends to minimize my embarrassment. We laugh about it to this day. Side note, his dad who works with cars fixed his car for him at no cost. When you're on a road trip and your partner feeds you fries and helps you drink your soda or whatever... I think that's such a nice, simple gesture of kindness. Genuine support in your life goals, even if that means you two will have to go a long distance for a while, or will have to have a conflicting work schedule, or it will make your relationship harder in some way. If they love you and want you to be happy, they will be genuinely interested in what you want to do, and will try to support you to do that in whatever way they can. They won't hold you back in any way. This is something me and my SO have been facing, something similar to this recently. He's just graduated and is looking for a job. As much as I want him to stay close by so we don't have to do long distance for any more time than we have to, I'm going home for the summer, but if he gets a job on the other side of the country, I won't stop him, and as long as I'm around, I'll help him pack up. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and subscribe so you do not miss our next upload.